In this short movie we're going to have a look at how DDM can be used to manage ECAD files. Now typically ECAD files or printed circuit board design software creates a folder structure with a number of different related files uh, common to the project. And so we need to look at the techniques we can use to control this within DDM. So on this system I don't actually have any ECAD software installed but I'm representing that by this folder that has a number of different file types within it. It also has a, um, a subfolder with a library of maybe components. But at the bottom here I have a file yabu-1247 which really represents the file that I can double click on the system and it will launch my ECAD software. In this case it's just a text file. So how do we bring this project, this ECAD project, into DDM? Well, to do that we use AnyDocs and we open our drag and drop form and we just take the whole folder and drag it into our AnyDocs drag and drop form. And now we can either use this to just completely zip up a folder and store it as an archive record within DDM, but in this case we want to select to use this file to launch the application when we open this folder from DDM. So I'm going to click on OK and I'm just going to alter the part number before we commit this. So this is going to be YABU-1247. Click on OK and we'll finish that and store that uh, new project into DDM. So if I go to my recent items, here's the project now stored into DDM. Down in our properties area, you can see that we have a folder represented so that we know that this is actually stored as a document but it's a zipped folder that's been stored into DDM. So when the user wants to make some changes to this design, uh, in the same way with any document, he just double clicks on it to open the application, in this case my notepad file, and I can make some changes. And once we've finished that, we save that away. Now, unlike documents, this is not going to directly store that back to DDM. So when the user's finished making the changes, um, he needs to open any docs and select the folder that's in the list and force a save back to DDM. Select overwrite and the project will now be stored and updated back to DDM. So if we have a look at our properties and go to our versions tab, you can now see that we've got two versions of this PCB design stored to DDM.